Hi, it's Sam from Intrinsic Dev. Today I'm going to take you through how to set up our LAN driver for Apple TV. So to go to the website, go to the Drivers tab, a LAN and Media. You'll find the Apple TV driver. From there you can make a purchase. You'll also find that in the description of the driver, um, we've put a download link directly to the EDRVC file needed for installation. Once you've made your purchase and made the download, uh, go back to your controller. The LAN driver for Apple TV is a communication based device. So we're going to add a new communication device driver under the media tab in our LAN setup. I can see straight away that in this list, we do not have the Apple TV driver we've downloaded. For most other drivers, this window has a search folder button, which you can use to point a LAN to the folder that you downloaded the driver to. This is not an option for communication devices. To get around that, all we need to do is use another window and set the search folder location. So I'm going to go to video displays, add new video display. This is a search folder button at the bottom. I'm going to point that to my desktop where I've downloaded the file to. Click OK. I'm not expecting to find any drivers in this window. I'm going to click cancel without installing anything and go back to communication devices, right click. And this time we see we've got our intrinsic dev Apple TV manager driver has appeared. I'm going to click OK to install it. The driver installs. Over the first few seconds, the driver is now going to make a connection to our Intrinsic Dev licensing server and it's going to check whether there's a valid license registered for this controller. If there is, the driver's come up licensed. It also displays the MAC address of this controller. And now the driver is going to off to find any available Apple TVs that are on the network. And once it does, it'll install the relevant source drivers for them. And there we go. Under Sources, our Apple TV test track driver has appeared. It's going through the same process. It's checking its license and within a few seconds. It'll show up as licensed. There we go. OK, green, good to go. Um, now all we need to do is put that into the zone that we intend to use the device in. So I'm going to go to this generic single zone controller. I've set up as test zone. I'm going to add it as the source. I've already put an icon in. So I'm going to pick Intrinsic Dev Apple TV. Hit apply. And I'm going to go to my viewer and the test zone's already running. And there's the interface for the Apple TV driver. Uh, if I press OK or a few buttons, I'm going to start some content playing on my Apple TV. And hopefully within a few seconds, we'll see some metadata and cover art appearing. And there's our metadata and cover art has appeared. Some other things about this driver I want to point out. Uh, under the communication device itself, we have enrollment option. Um, this comes out of the box as enabled. And what that means is it will automatically add any new Apple TV as and when they're connected to the network. If you do not wish any more Apple TVs to be added, simply set that to disabled. There's another cool feature built into the driver for reconnection. If at any point yourself or the client um, is unable to get uh, communication between the Apple TV and the LAN system working, if you press the guide or menu buttons five times in a row in a, a short space of time, say three, four seconds, that will automatically trigger a reconnection inside the driver. And that's it for today, folks. It's as simple as that. Um, any other questions or queries, just head over to intrinsicdev.com support and we'll get right back to you. Thanks.